it's definitely not your everyday run-of-the-mill construction project. So it was a challenge from the beginning and it was questionable whether it could be done or not. It takes many years to develop the skills, the resources, and the experience to be able to successfully do a large challenging project like Atlantic City Force Main Replacement. I was blown away. It was a great project, learned a lot, and a lifetime of respect for who was all involved with this project. The Atlantic City Sewerage Company serves the wastewater collection needs of over 275,000 people during the busy tourist season. When two aging cast iron force mains required replacement in 2011, new, innovative techniques had to be considered. Today's code simply wouldn't allow in-kind replacement of the 100-year-old pipeline across environmentally sensitive marshes and canals. The ACSC chose horizontal directional drilling, a rapidly evolving trenchless technology that uses a surface-launched drill rig to install pipes underground in a shallow horizontal arcing path. HDD is today's preferred method due to its cost savings and low environmental impact. Selecting the right contractor for the job, though, would be crucial. We don't want to be in a position where we'd hire a contractor thinking he could do it, and then all of a sudden he couldn't do it. That was critical. After a careful bidding and selection process, Carson & Roberts Site Construction and Engineering, a nationally recognized leader in horizontal directional drilling, was chosen for their experience, integrity, and commitment to safety. We have developed a really good reputation in the industry, how we do work, how we perform, and uh, basically a comfort level, which I think helped Atlantic City Storage Company decide that Carson & Roberts were the right contractors to do the job. The design called for two parallel 2200 linear foot runs of 42 inch diameter HDPE product pipe. There were a few catches though. Both drills required 72 degree compound radius bends to prevent right of way encroachment. Also, the tight deadline mandated by the New Jersey Board of Public Utilities was non-negotiable. Every project is very different, different circumstances, different type of ground conditions, and all these things have to be analyzed properly to pull off a successful directional drill. And it's those, those challenges that I like that keep me interested in the directional drill business. After mobilizing their one million pound horizontal drill rig and a seasoned crew to the site, Carson and Roberts did what they do best. They got the job done. First, a pilot hole was drilled under the marsh and canal at a depth of 65 feet. Sophisticated magnetic sensors and software guided a steerable drill head that never deviated more than two feet from the intended path, including the 72 degree bend. After a number of ream passes to upsize the diameter of the hole, the entire 2200 feet of 42 inch product pipe was pulled back over a 12 hour period. An identical process was repeated for the second pipe, always staying within 25 feet of the first. The Atlantic City Sewerage Horizontal Directional Drill Project was brought in on budget and ahead of schedule. Although taking on the 72 degree compound radius may have seemed risky, Carson and Roberts believe their HDD knowledge base and investment in next generation equipment would guarantee success. I like the challenge with horizontal directional drilling. You don't know what you're going to encounter. There is a lot of unknowns. The fact that we can go in there and take on that challenge and be successful, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. They were 12, 14 hour days. It definitely was a collective team to get this project achieved. I, I recommend it, Carson Robert, to other companies. And this is a great job. To, show place what they can do. And uh, I, think, I think everybody that 
hires them will be pleased. I, I really do. As an engineer, we always like to look at projects. Can it be done? Can it be drilled? How can it be done? The technologies continue to evolve. Um, they're constantly pushing the envelopes of what can be done. The lengths of the drills are getting longer. I predict in the future there'll be drills over 10, 20,000 feet long. I think it's just the tip of the iceberg of what can be done using this horizontal directional drill technology.